Speaking of children facing difficult lives, there are tens of thousands of orphans in Afghanistan after a decade of war there. CBS News correspondent Manny Clark looks at one Afghan woman who's trying to help them heal with art. Roya Dost is no regular arts teacher, and these kids are not regular students. Everyone here has a personal story of loss in this 10-year conflict. The children are all orphans of war. This boy's father was a farmer who was shot and killed when he was caught in the crossfire of Taliban and American bullets. There are 80 kids here and all of them have stories that need to be told. I want to help them express themselves. <laughs> Roya can relate all too well. Her father died in the war with the Soviets. She was just seven. Not long after she picked up a paintbrush. She says art saved her. When he died, I couldn't speak of the pain in my heart, except through painting. The 36-year-old graphic designer was living in Germany but quit her job five months ago to help these kids. Although the war is still ongoing, she felt it was finally safe enough to return. Today they're learning to draw a simple fish. It doesn't seem creative, but Roya disagrees. Some of them are small, some big. They're making their fish individual. Others, too, are trying to get children involved in the arts. This is the first generation since the fall of the Taliban allowed to sing draw, paint, or take pictures, all forbidden under Taliban rule. Indu Nepal is the director of the Afghan Youth Festival. The event showcased pictures of young Afghan photographers. So all these, all these are young people They're behind the lens. Yeah, absolutely. She says the kids chose the themes themselves. Roya decided to paint one of the photos that depicted child labor. A young girl took this photo. I'm trying to tell her message in another medium. She also spoke to the kids about the importance of art. But she's happiest in the classroom, connecting with the children one-on-one. -on -one. Each brushstroke, she believes, has the power to heal. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Kabul.